This is a quick update to the previous video. Um, first of all, this is my my desk. Um, you'll see the front of my desk is now black thanks to um, some nice black vinyl. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I also have a new poster, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Woot. Good, uh, good books. I'm secondly, or I'm currently on the second one, almost done with it. About to start third. Graphic novels, they're great. Second one's right there. Good stuff. Um, so yeah. Here, I have my Magic Trackpad and Elementary OS Jupiter. Um, basically, I wanted to show you some of the updated gestures I've been working on. Um, the main goal is to bring the the pretty good um, OS X gestures for the Magic Trackpad to Elementary and Ubuntu using the U-Touch framework and Jin. So I'm going to, let's see, what should I do here? I'm going to open up the wishes file <clears throat> so I can recall, recall all of the gestures. Oops, and of course it's opening up in a browser. No, I don't want that. That's fine, I can read it. So basically, let's open up a few windows here. Alright. There's a bunch of windows open. <coughs> um, and of course, alright, first I'll start with... Move my keyboard out of the way. Two finger scrolling. Um, this is just, let's go to this. This is just two fingers going up and down, like that. Um, it's not smooth scrolling because um, GTK doesn't support that yet or at all. Um, it would be nice if they did, but it is still in steps if you can kind of see the sidebar up there. I'm moving my finger slowly like that. Um, one thing to note is by default I set it so that um, get both of them here in the shot. Um, scrolling up with your fingers scrolls down on the screen. That seems really backwards if you're used to two finger scrolling on most computers. Um, but why I did that is because it's more a little bit more like the mobile applications like on Android or iPhone, WebOS, etc. Touch screens. Um, and the other thing is, I believe that's the new default in OS X Lion, which, no, I'm not trying to just copy them, but if that's going to be the most common use case with the trackpad, I want it to be the most common use case with the trackpad on Elementary and Ubuntu. So that is two-finger scrolling. Yay! Next one is... I guess I'll leave this here. Um, two-finger right-click. Right-click. Yay, right-click. Secondary click if you're if you come from OS X. Um, that also let's see, let me grab this window and drag it over here. That also will um, do three fingers. For example, on this tab, if I three finger tap like that, it closes the tab. Um, if I three finger tap on that icon, it opens it in a new tab. Um, just as it would if you middle clicked it. So that's very nifty. Um, yep. So what else do I have here? Scrolling, clicking, um, oh, page forward and back. This is very nifty. Um, and I try to do this more universally instead of just being um, hacked in for the browser or just hacked in for the file manager or whatever. Um, grab this, throw it over here. So let's say I go to um, my music folder. I want to go back. I can just three finger back, three finger forward. Pretty nifty. Um, works pretty well. Still probably will tweak the gesture. Oh, oh, oh there it doesn't want to work at all. There we go. There we go. I was doing it a little bit wrong. So pretty nifty. Probably still tweakable. Um, and that also works in the browser. So if I want to do 
I'll grab this, bring it over here. If I wanted to do back, three finger back. Three, oh, and they're doing a redirect there, so it was going back, and it redirects. So it does work, three finger back and forward. Pretty nifty. Um, that's really nice, so you don't have to reach for a keyboard, or you don't have to reach up and try to pinpoint the little back button up in the browser. Um, I wanna, okay, one you've seen me doing here a bit is actually kind of inspired by, I think, Unity. I didn't want to lose the three finger tap for middle click, but I did want an easy way to move windows. So I did a three finger drag down, like you're, like you're grabbing a window, um, and then you can see the cursor goes to the middle, and then you can move it around just with a normal touch, um, which is very nifty, and then you tap to release. So that's that's a custom one that's not really in OS X or um, not very standard, but I liked it, so I threw it in there. Of course, it's easily disabled through removing one of the wishes. Um, I use it all the time, especially with my dual monitors. All right, so my next one is page forward back Expo. This was, I believe, default with the Gin Wishes file I started with. Um, I don't believe it's in OS X, and I don't believe it's in uh, U-Touch. It might be. Uh, four finger tap brings up Expo View, which is the um, four desktops. So I have dual monitors, so it looks a little weird. What it's really doing is this is my first desktop with both monitors. This is my second, or it's my second desktop with both monitors. This is my third desktop with both monitors, and that's my fourth desktop with both monitors. So right now I'm on the fourth. So I click that, and I'll come back up. So I use that a lot too, because I typically have you know three or four different things going on at once, and even with dual monitors, I like the multiple desktops. So that is four finger tap for Expo. Um, move window, I demoed that one already. Switch applications. This one's going to need um, a lot more work and probably a tweaked compiz config to get it to work at least the way it works in OS X or somewhat um, a, a good way. It's supposed to work with four fingers dragging and it switches oops, four fingers dragging and it switches the open application like alt tab. And it is right now but it just switches between the two. I don't know if you can see the um, that's blurry. See there? The title bar changes focus. Um, it doesn't come up with anything on the screen, which is counterintuitive. If, and if you swipe forward, it only switches between the two. But if you swipe backwards, it switches between all of them. It's like that. Um, so it's overall just not the best. There we go. So, yeah, it needs a lot of work with that one. That's one I'll keep working on. Um, here's a cool one. This is the scale plugin. Take my four fingers and go whoop, whoop, and it goes over there because my mouse is over there. Um, brings up an expose type view. It's called the scale plugin of Compiz. It's installed in elementary by default and I believe in Ubuntu by default. Um, so you can select your application. Four fingers down, comes up like that, then you just tap on one pretty nifty. Use that a lot as well instead of alt tabbing. So that is just again four fingers down like that. It opens it or closes it. Um, kind of related to that is the four fingers up. Goes to the desktop, minimizes everything. and Four fingers up again, pulls everything back up. So those are two that are in OS X that are very nifty. Um, this video is getting long. I'll try to hurry through the rest of these. Show desktop. Pinch zoom. This is global. It works almost everywhere. Um, or as global as I could get it to be. Let me grab this window, throw them over here. Okay, so this is two finger pinch zoom. Go like this. Pinch in, pinch out. Pretty nice. Again, it's not super fluid because it's using keyboard emulation. So it's like doing control plus 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 every time I move my fingers and control minus 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 minus. But it actually does a job pretty well. So that is that. Um, it also works in apps such as Shotwell, which I don't have any apps or photos in, so I can't show you. Um, rotate. Oh, Pinch Zoom also works in the file browser, for example. So there's Pinch In, Pinch Out, whatever. Um, rotate works in, 
uh, Evans and in should work in shot well. I'm not sure if that was working right now. Oh, there's pinch zoom in and out, which actually is pretty fluid, which is really nice. Um, rotate should work. I think it only works if you're zoomed all the way out or something. I can never get it to work. So that one obviously needs worked on. Yeah, not working for me. It's supposed to work by hitting the, um, like these buttons on your keyboard, the uh, brackets, left and right brackets. So it wouldn't be smooth, it would just do that. But I'll obviously work on that. Um, close this guy out of here. What else do I have? Um, now that's all the global ones, but the app specific ones that I was going over is like zoom out, rotate, um, that stuff in Inkscape, in Events, in Shotwell. Those are three apps I support right now because um, two of those are shipped by default in Elementary and one of them is used by Dan Rabbit, so I figured I'd want to give him support if he ends up getting a trackpad like this. Um, and it's also nice to have in the uh, image editors. My next app I'll probably target would be GIMP. Um, bring any of those um, any of those shortcuts that I use that aren't supported in GIMP currently, bring them to GIMP. Um, other than that, I'm going to just try and work on cleaning up the gestures, especially the rotates and the pinches, I think. Um, some of the swipes need a little bit of work. And I think that's about it. So let me know what you think. Um, if you have any improvements you can think of or any, any gestures you think I left out, let me know in the comments or send me an email to email at CassidyJames.com. That's email at C-A-S-S-I-D-Y-J-A-M-E-S -S -S dot C-O-M. Um, I'll keep improving this, and then once, once I feel it's at a point that I can release it or um, let other people improve on it, I'll post a link in the description or on my personal website. I'll probably write a blog post at CassidyJames.com. So check there. Um, that is it. Thanks for watching.